The Grumbling Morning by Pamela Duncan Edwards and Darcy Lebros, brought to us by Scholastic. Thank you, Scholastic. The Grumpy Morning. I heard a cow begin to moo. I need to be milk. I really do. She moo at the dog who began to bark. It's time for breakfast. It's not longer dark. I heard the goat begin to bleed. Where are my oats? And she stamped her feet. She stamped at the hog who began to squeal. I'm waiting for slop. I'm due for a meal. I heard the rabbit begin to thump. I want my pellets. I will never grow plump. He thumped at the horse who began to yeah. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry for hay. I heard the duck begin to quack. What's going on? I must have my snack. She quacked at the cat who began to meow. I like to cuddle. I would like it now. I heard a hand begin to clock. My grain is late. That's just my luck. Nyah, moo, quack, woof, oink, nyap, tump, tump, quack. I saw a moth went under nose. Off the sleepy farmer, still in a doze. She opened an eye and said with a cry, Is that the time? Oh my, oh my. Good morning, cow. Good morning, dog. Good morning, goat. Good morning, hog. Good morning, rabbit. Good morning, horse. And duck and cat and an owl, of course. Such a happy morning, isn't it, Ham? Then she fed them and milked them. And loved us all, all ten. And may I sleep now, the owl asked. Good morning, boys and girls. We're again in our virtual classroom. It's very nice to see you again, and I hope we're going to have fun together. Today we're going to have language arts class. We're going to use our critical thinking and reasoning, which means explaining why um, some situations happens and explaining all the questions that I will have uh, for you. Make sure we're going to use full sentences and we're going to connect data. That means that we are going to use the knowledge that we already gained, that we already know, we already have. Remember last week we were talking a little bit about socks and how to match them. We're putting things in the groups. So today we're going to put things in the groups as well. They're going to have different meanings. So you have to think very, very, very carefully and very hard what item in those groups does not belong. And then I hope you can explain it very well as um, we go as we go along with um, with that group. As you can see on our board, we have a fish, just like the one from last uh, week that you guys were making, and it says that's fishy because if something doesn't belong to the group, it really is fishy. And I have four notes over here, post-it notes. I have three buses and one turtle. Is that correct? So I have group of four. Which of them does not belong? What do you think? I can write the notes on all four of them, correct? But three of them are school buses. They drive, they drive really, really fast. They take you to school. So they belong to one group. I have a turtle. Can you sit on the turtle and go to school? Nah, not really. First of all, we don't sit on the turtle. Second of all, turtle is so slow, so we could be very, very, very late for school, and that would not be such a great idea, right? So I am going to show you my first um, group of items, and let's discuss what belongs to them and what does not. I have <clears throat> my scarf. I also have a mitten, and I have one of my famous socks that you saw before. And in my other hand, I have a glue stick. What do you see, boys and girls? Let's explain. 
I have a mitten to put my, on my hands, right? To protect my hands. I have my scarf to put on my neck of it when it's cold outside. I also have my sock to put on my feet when it's cold or when I would like to feel a little bit more cozy. So three of those items are pieces of clothing, correct? We use them to dress up to make ourselves warm. How about the glue stick? What do you think? Can we put the glue stick on? Of course not. Glue stick is being used only for art projects when we need to put pieces of paper of other items together. So out of this group of our four items, one does not belong. Do those three look the same? No, they don't, you see? But this is the group of clothing. So that's how we're going to group it a little bit differently. They don't need to necessarily look alike, but they need to belong to the same group. So this is the group of clothing that we need to keep ourselves warm. This is a glue stick that we absolutely do not wear and don't need to put it on. Very good. Uh, in my, my third group, I have four items. I have a marker, I have pencil, I have pen, and I also have my light bulb. What do you think? Any ideas? Very good. We have three items that we use for writing, correct? We use our pen for writing the notes, we can use our pencil for writing the notes, we can use our marker for writing as well, or we can um, draw something with all three of them. So we need them on our desks or on our writing tables, correct? Or at school maybe. How about light bulb? Can we write with the light bulb? Absolutely not. The light bulbs belongs to the lamp, right? So out of those four items that I have right now, three of them are in the group, the writing uh, material for the writing, and I have the light bulb that does not belong. Very good, boys and girls, kiss your brain. Good job. Now, look at me again. I have three items now. I have a regular paper napkin. I have small towel and notebook. What do you think? How should we group it? How can we use them? Think about it. You are right. We can use the napkin and the paper towel to wash our faces. So those can be for washing and drying our faces, correct? You can use them in the kitchen or you can use it in the bathroom if needed. How about the notebook? Can we wipe our face with the notebook? Absolutely not. So notebook does not belong to that group. Notebook belongs to your desk, um, should be on your desk or somewhere uh, where you would like to write the notes. So those two are together, this one is different. But as you see, all three of the items are different colors, different sizes, correct? So again, they don't have to be exactly the same. They need to belong to one group. So we decided this is the group and the notebook does not belong there. Now I have three items. I have two bags and a flower. What do you think, boys and girls, now? Any ideas? I hope you are explaining it right now very, very loudly. You are super right. This is our bag that we can open and then we can store different items inside, correct? In our second bag, we can store items. We can put toys or we can put any other things, whatever you want, extra shoes for school or something um, that you need to put away for a moment to clean it maybe. And then we have a flower. The flower does not belong to that group, correct? Flower is, can we put something in the flower? Absolutely not. Flower is for decorations. When you have a fresh one, you can smell it. You can use it for your senses. To, um, you can use it and put it on your table, but absolutely not use it to put something in because it does not have any pockets. What we can do, we can put the flower in, but that does not make a group. Is that correct? Yes. Now, our other group, I have three items here. Hold on one second. Look, I have fork, I have a fork, I have a spoon, I have a straw. I also have a ball with the number, what number is that? You're right, it's number three. So what do you think? How should we group it? 
Should I put the ball with the straw because they're white? Mm. Should I put maybe fork with the spoon? That's not a bad idea. Here's my explanation, listen up. We can use fork, spoon, and a straw in our kitchen or at the table when we are having dinner, correct? You can use the straw to drink um, your juice or water. You can use your spoon to eat your dessert. You can use your fork to um, eat main course, but can we use a bowl at the table when we're eating? No, we cannot. We can take it outside maybe and roll it and play with it. So which one does not belong? You see it? Yes, you're right. The ball does not belong to that group. You are absolutely correct. Very good job, boys and girls. At home, boys and girls, to practice more exercises, what you're going to do, mommy and daddy will show you either on the computer screen or maybe they will be able to print it out. If not, you can look at it. Um, on the computer screen at, at all of the pictures and um, you will see. You're going to see different um, uh, pieces of paper, different worksheets with fish and different pictures inside. Each fish has four pictures. You see it? For example, the green one, look at the green one. I hope you can see it. The green one has three cars and a boat. What do you think? How should we group it? Which one does not belong? All four of them are transportation units, correct? Yes, but guess what? The boat goes on the water, is that right? The bus, truck, and the car, they go on the road, right? So we have to cross out boat because boat does not belong to our group. Now you can look at the red fish what do you see i will put it closer Whoops, sorry you see a star sun moon and you see a mailbox what do you think which one does not belong the star can be on the sky correct the sun can be on the sky the moon can go on the sky it can be on the sky too right all three of them you can see them um, um, you can see them on the sky, correct? But how about the mailbox? Can mailbox go all the way up there? Absolutely not. Then the mailbox will be the one that does not belong. And let's say, let's do one more on the orange fish. We have plate, mug, and the bowl, and the snowman. So all three of them we can use for what? For our dinner in the kitchen, for cooking, for eating, right? And how about snowmen? Absolutely not. The snowmen will go outside during winter time. So that's how you're going to complete your homework at home. You will also see the pages where fish has, does not have a color. Still complete, complete them in the side and then you inside and you can color the fish any way you want. So this is going to be your other, your other activity. Here you go. We have two of them. When you're done with it, if you're able to print it out, you can also cut them and then you can have a fish cards. Then you can group them together. You can put yellow ones together, you can put purple ones together, green ones, and uh, maybe orange and um, uh, blue, whichever way you want. Or when you look at the fish, you see that they're different as well. Look at the tails. Make sure you can match the tails. Look at the shape of the fish, some of them are rounded, some of them are a little bit oval, correct? So that's what we're going to do at home. Beautiful practice, boys and girls. And now I would like you to sing with me. I found a new song for us and I hope you're going to like it. We can use it on a daily basis when you are doing your... What are you doing at home, boys and girls, this week? Yes. You are doing your journal, journal with the calendar and the weather. So let's listen and sing along. Let's listen. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the days of the week. 
Ready? Let's go together. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Very good. Well done. Now let's try it really loud. Oh no. Monday, Monday Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Friday Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Fantastic. Now let's sing it really fast. Can we do it? Let's try Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the days of the week. Super fast. Day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, the days of the week. I hope you really, really liked our song and our our class today hope you had fun oh wait i forgot one more i have one more group that i forgot to show you look what i have i have a soap here's a soap board i have a toothpaste and i have a candy how can we group them what do you think where do they belong? So, goes to the bathroom. Toothpaste goes to the bathroom too. That cleans our bodies. That toothpaste cleans your teeth. But how about candy? Where does it go? Does it belong to this group? No, it doesn't. Where does it go? next week and now that candy goes into my mouth bye kids